In today's video, we'll be learning how to tie the stitched diamond knot. Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. So got another tutorial for you today. This one's a bit more on the finicky advanced side. Um, almost rage quit on this one, didn't make it, but pushed through, did the tutorial. So we're doing a stitched diamond knot. Now the method I'm doing is using fids. I figured it's the easier way. I tried to tie it like just using all two for six strands it, that didn't go well so uh yeah um yeah it's just a diamond knot with stitched um type 95 cord 95 paracord around it and looks really nice very decorative decorative knot um and i think mine came out all right could be better but well, that's my first kind of attempt so uh yeah that's what we're doing today guys so um again big thank you to all my patreons uh, remember, if you guys like what I do, you want to support me there, I do do um, exclusive tutorials and giveaways on my Patreon, so you can check out the links for that in this video. And also, guys, remember, if you're looking forward to get Paracord, you can check out all my affiliate links in the description box down below. So that being said, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so to tie this stitch diamond knot, we're going to start off by, of course, tying the diamond knot itself first. So um, we're going to take our midpoint of our Paracord, find the midpoint, and we're going to put it just behind my finger here. And then you're going to take the cord on the right. You're going to make a loop and make sure you go behind itself like that. Put that over top of the strand on the left, like so. And then you're going to take this cord on the right, or sorry, this cord down here, bring it behind the cord on the right. And then you're going to go over, under, and over. So you're going to go like this with that cord on the right, okay? So this cord goes over, under, and over, like so. And then from here, take the cord on the bottom. I'm gonna go past this strand up here and go through the middle, like that. And then this cord on the left, bring that around, go past this cord on the bottom here, go up through the middle, like so. And gather the two strands and pull tight. And then just uh, shape and form your knot and get it get all that excess out now don't pull it super tight just yet give it a good amount of uh, tension I form it to maybe about here and then we can now we can start adding the um, the stitch cords okay so now here's where the hard part uh, comes in I've got um, some 95 cord on my type 1 fid and you're basically going to follow each of the strands um, on the left side and the right side. So we're gonna start up top with this strand here, this one right here, and you're just going to trace around the diamond knot and follow on each side. So we're gonna, we're gonna have to do this four times. So let's see, this strand, so if you pull on this one, see I'm pulling that one and this one moves, that's how I know that's the one we're starting with. So I'm gonna follow this one and I'm gonna go underneath here. I've got about a foot of the um, the 95 cord. Uh, probably won't need as much, but I just wanna make sure I have enough so it's easy to work with. So see how I'm just pulling and following along this side here? So if it gets too loose, tighten it up a little bit because you don't want it to slip out. So I'm gonna pull this just about here. Okay, don't pull it all the way through, of course right there okay so so now you can see i'm going to go on this side like that i'm going to follow it here so now i go under here like so see how it's sitting on the left there and then you're just going to continue this process of following and tracing the path of that cord 
until you get come out the other side. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going. So at this point here, I know that just based on, you know, experience, I know that this cord is going to be come out and out this side. Okay, so this is the, we're getting to the end. So go under here and you're going to go underneath and basically kind of through the middle of the knot. So we'll go right through the middle there. Let me pull this down. And there you go. Okay, so once you finish that, the knot will be a little loose, so just pull on everything just a little bit to tighten everything up. And there you go. So that's one, okay? Okay, so that is one strand done. Now we're back to where we started. We're gonna repeat the same process, but now we're gonna go on the opposite side of that other strand. Okay, so I've got my same fid, same cord. I'm just going to work my fid through here. I need to widen it first. Okay, so yeah, don't tie the knot too tight. I kind of pulled on the knot a bit too much just now and it uh, made it kind of tight. So again, pull this through here. And stop right about there. So now we're going to follow on the opposite side. See, that's how that stitching effect occurs. Okay, so again, just trace around your knot and go on the opposite side. So when you get to points like this, just go underneath everything. I know it's like kind of right under the middle, but then when you pull it, make sure the strand lines up on the correct side, like that, see? So I went under the middle, but then I pulled it to the side. So now I think I'm getting to the end again. I have to go down the middle, out and through. Yeah. See out and through there. Okay. And there we go. Another one done. See now that effect is starting to take hold. It looks awesome. Okay, so I'm just going to do this two more times. I know it's going to be a little bit of a pain. But um, yeah, so we're going to do that two more times and we'll be almost done. Okay, so I'm now moving on to my second side. I stitched both of the first cord on this side. So now we're going to do this one. Uh, I switched to a larger fid just because my small one it was too pointy. It kept getting caught on everything. So I'm using the uh, type 2 fid. Now I'm going to go in on this side. Now a common mistake I kept making was I kept going on this one and going to this cord. It's not that one. It's this one. Okay, so just to test, you can always pull on this cord here and make sure that one moves. That way you know you're going stitching the right one because I kept skipping and going through here. It's not that one. So, um, yeah. Do the same process on this cord.
Okay, man, that was a struggle. Um, I had to go through a few times because I kept screwing it up. But if you did um, as I did and just followed the strands exactly, you will now have a nicely stitched diamond knot, which looks pretty awesome. I don't know if it's worth it and all, all that frustration. Anyhow, um, for the excess white up here, um, you can just snip and singe it if you want. Or what I was considering is take your lighter and just melt the strand so that um, it kind of mushrooms out. So that, and then um, what you can do is, ow, it's still hot. <laughs> so um, pull, what you can do is maybe just pull this strand actually through. So this one leads to that one there. So if you pull on it now, oops, sorry, I'm out of frame. If you pull on it now, because of that end is mushroomed out, it's not going to get pulled all the way through. So see how it just stops there? And then now just pull this excess all the way through the, uh, the rest of the knot. You can do that if you want. If that's too much work, um, just snip and singe the cords where they are. And you can do the same at the bottom, just snip and singe. Maybe I will, because we've gone this far, I will attempt tying a, uh, a double diamond knot or something. No, double snake knot? Yeah, maybe. Okay, so I'm going to do that and just clean up this knot now. Okay, and there we have it, guys. We are done. So snipped and singed off those excess cords. I didn't like those little melted ends sticking out, so I used my knotter's tool, and I just neatly tucked them in um, as best as I could. So it looks a lot cleaner. Yeah, I think that's a step you should really take because it doesn't look good with all those melted ends sticking out. After all that hard work, why not make it look good? Okay, so that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial of the stitch diamond knot. This one was a bit tough. Hopefully you don't rage quit like I almost did. almost didn't finish this tutorial. <laughs> but anyways, so if you guys like what you see here and you want to see more of my videos, uh, if you're not subscribed already, feel free to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you know when I release videos. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.